12 breaking news. We're starting tonight with breaking news. Today, the U.S. Supreme Court agreed to hear an appeal from the city of Grants Pass. Thanks for joining us for News Watch 12 at 6. I'm Haley Gravitt. The ruling will decide whether cities can punish homeless residents simply for existing without access to a shelter. News Watch 12's Damian Alvarado has been following this story since it broke this afternoon. Damian, I know you talked to the lead attorney who's representing the petitioners. What did they tell you? Haley, the high court said today it will hear an appeal from the city of Grants Pass. It's challenging a ruling by the U.S. Ninth Circuit Court, and that ruling could apply to other cities in nine western United States that are under the Ninth Circuit Court. It's ruling blocks cities from restricting public camping. Grants Pass approved new camping restriction ordinances last year. That issue advanced when a homeless fight led to a deadly shooting at one of its public parks. Now, the U.S. Constitution does not allow cities to punish people for having having an involuntary status, including the status of being involuntarily homeless. The Oregon Law Center said that this case is about criminalizing people who are living outside, and that is not a solution to homelessness. They said data and studies indicate that it will make matters worse because it wastes money and destabilizes people who are trying to get inside. Ed Johnson with the Oregon Law Center is the lawsuit's lead attorney. He shared with Newswatch 12 about the Supreme Court's acceptance of his case and what is next. Eventually, you know, we're going to be asking that the court find that um, punishing the status of being homeless, uh, being homeless when you have no uh, practical ability to get inside violates the cruel and unusual punishment clause of the Eighth Amendment. Johnson also said his team is looking forward to presenting their case to the court. The question is whether or not a city violates the Eighth Amendment when it punishes the status of living outside and people where people have nowhere else to go. We also received a reply from Grants Pass writing, quote, the city of Grants Pass will not comment on this issue and is referring all inquiries related to this case to our legal counsel. We also contacted them without reply today. The court's decision will give clarification from the federal government about what can be done in regards to homelessness. Johnson said this case is not about tents or encampments or a city's ability to regulate and sweep camps. The Ninth Circuit Court in this case specifically said that cities can still do that. For more information, you can head over to KDRV.com. Reporting live in studio, Damon Alvarado, Newswatch 12.